pag-analyze ng ellipse ng mga problems na gagawin natin, bibigyan naman tayo ng mga given parts ng uh, isang ellipse at kukunin natin yung standard or general equation ng given ellipse. Now, matatandaan nyo na ang ating ellipse can be an ellipse with a major axis along the x-axis at ellipse na merong major axis sa y-axis. Kapag major axis niya is along the x-axis, pahalang yung ating ellipse. At kung sa y naman, pahaba naman yung ating ellipse. Now, yung standard equation ng ellipse will be given by x minus h squared all over a squared plus y minus k squared all over b squared is equal to 1. Now, parehas lang ng equation ang pahalang na ellipse at yung vertical na ellipse. Ang kaibahan nga lang ng dalawang ellipse na to would be yung x um, ordered pair nyo has a higher denominator kesa doon sa y kapag kapahalang or horizontally oriented yung inyong ellipse. At kapag naman pahaba yung inyong ellipse, mapapansin nyo na yung inyong mas malaking value will be on the y-axis. So yun lang yung kailangan yung tandaan sa pag-solve ng uh, mga problems involving ellipse para alam nyo kung anong standard equation yung gagamitin ninyo. At itong formula naman ito, c squared equal to a squared minus b squared, e eh formula na para mahanap natin yung foci ng given ellipse at gagamitin ulit natin ito sa mga examples natin today. Now, dito sa example natin na to, kailangan daw natin hanapin yung standard form of the equation of the ellipse having a foci at 0, 1, and 4, 1 and a major axis of length 6. Tulad nung ginagawa natin sa pag-analyze sa isang parabola, kailangan din natin i-graph muna yung ating given ellipse base doon sa mga parts na binigay sa problem. So yung foci natin, yung first foci is at 0, 1 at yung second foci naman is at 4 and 1. So ang 4 and 1 nandito. At kapag kakinuha natin yung midpoint between the first foci and the, or the first focus and the second focus yun yung magiging center ng ating ellipse. So yung center natin by just counting the number of units in between the first foci and the second foci will be 2 and 1. So meron na tayong 2 and 1. It's a formula ng ellipse. Ang 2, 1 or ang center will be your hk. So meron na tayong hk which is a 2, 1. Pwede natin mahanap yung value ng c dito sa ating ellipse. At yung C ay yung distance between the vertex and one of your foci. At ang distance niya is 2 units, kaya yung C natin is equal to 2. Now, matatandaan nyo na kailangan natin ng A and B para sa denominator ng standard equation ng ating ellipse. So, hahanapin natin ngayon si A at saka si B. And to do that, Binigyan tayo ng major axis at length 6. Now, sa ellipse, ang major axis is equal to twice of A, or 2A. So, if 2A is equal to the major axis, by substituting the formula, 2A will then be equal to 6. At sa pag-solve ng 6, divide both sides by 6, and you'll have A equal to 3. So, yung A natin, which is yung isa sa mga um, denominators ng ating equation ng ellipse, will be equal to 3. At sa paghanap naman ng B, pwede na natin gamitin yung formula na ginamit natin sa paghanap ng foci, which is c squared is equal to a squared minus b squared. So, ito yung formula na gagamitin natin. At sa paghanap ng b, alam na natin kung anong value ng c at anong value ng a. By direct substitution, we'll be able to find the value of b. At ang b is equal to b squared equals 9 minus 4 or 5. So, yan yung ating value ng b squared. At hindi ko nakakailangan hanapin yung value ng b or take the square root of both sides kasi sa equation ng ellipse, b squared yung gagamitin natin. So, meron tayong value of c, which is 2, value of a, which is 3, and b squared is equal to 5. And by using the standard equation of an, elli an, of an ellipse, yung ating standard equation will be x minus 2 squared all over 9 plus y minus 1 squared all over 5 equal to 1. Dahil yan sa center na binigay sa atin kanina, which is at 2 and 1. Now, isa pang mga problem or isa sa mga problems na pwede natin gawin or uh, isolve sa ellipse will be finding the standard form of the given ellipse na merong binibigay na general form. So, ang makikita nyo sa example na to will be the general form of an ellipse. x squared plus 4y squared plus 6x minus 8y plus 9 equal to 0. Now, paano natin it should change yung general form ng ellipse to its standard form, which is x minus h squared all over a squared plus y minus k squared all over b squared equal to 1. Now, to do that, kailangan natin siyang gamitan ng completing the square. So, kailangan muna natin gawin is to group 
yung ating mga equation, igugrupo nyo yung x's at igugrupo nyo yung mga y's equal to negative 9. Kasi yung constant natin will always be on the other side of the equation. So again, ang nangyari dito, meron tayong dalawang value, tayong dalawang x's at dalawang y, which is x squared and 6x, ginroup natin siya, at saka yung mga y's, ginroup din natin. So, meron tayong dalawang groups. So, ang gagawin natin is to complete the square of the first parenthesis and the second parenthesis. And to do that, we just need to find half of 6 and then square of that. So, half of 6 is 3, and 3 times 3 is 9. So, kailangan natin kunin yung uh, number na magkukomplete sa square ng ating pat parehas na parentheses. So, in this case, meron tayong plus 9 dun sa first parentheses at plus 1 dun sa second parentheses. Na kung ano yung in natin sa kabilang side, kailangan yung i-add din natin siya sa kabilang side. So, we have 9 plus 1 times 4. Now, mapapansin nyo, yung third term natin is 1 times 4. Ito ay dahil yung ating uh, um, pag-factor doon sa second equation, inilabas natin yung 4 doon sa second parenthesis. So, kailangan alam nyo yung mga nilalabas nyo yung mga numbers para i-multiply sa kabilang side. So, meron na tayo ngayong perfect square trinomial. Now, if factor out natin, at si simplify yung bawat isa. So, sa x squared plus 6x plus 9, pwede natin siya i-factor out as x plus 3 squared plus 4 times y minus 1 squared equal to 4. Now, ang ating equation ng ellipse, kailangan equal siya sa 1, so we will divide all of them by 4, giving us a fraction na magiging x minus 3 squared all over 4 plus y minus 1 squared all over 1 equal to 1. So, yan na ngayon yung ating standard equation ng ellipse using completing the square.